Hello students and welcome you all again to this video lecture series on chapter introduction to ferrous alloys. In this chapter up till now we have seen the classification of metals in detail and then we have seen the concept of alloying then we have seen what is the importance of that alloying then we will start now in this lecture the solid solution and its types. So firstly we will see the definition of this solid solution uh, when in the solid the atoms of solute are present in the lattice of the solvent it is known as a solid solution now in this definition we can observe there are the two words which are important that is a solute and solvent when in a solid the atoms of solute are present in the lattice of solvent that means there is a crystal lattice st structure of the solvent one of the metal or element in an alloy is a solute and another is solvent in the crystal lattice structure of that solvent if the atoms of solute are present that phase of that alloy we will call it as a solid solution phase so this is the definition when in solid the atoms of solute are present in the lattice of the solvent it is known as a solid solution so in that solute and solvent to concepts are there uh, the elements present in an alloy in the larger proportion are known as a solvent the other element uh, which is present relatively in less proportion is known as a solute so in other ways also we can say uh, in solid solution it consists of uh, atoms of at least two different types where the solute atoms occupies either the substitutional or interstitial positions in the solvent lattice and the crystal structure of the solvent is maintained. So in solid solution atoms of at least two different types are present atoms that of solute and solvent. So those are present either in the form of substitutional or interstitial, interstitial positions so what is that substitutional and interstitial position that we will see further because these two are the types of that solid solution. So in this form the atoms of solute are present in the solvent. So this uh, and the structure of that total alloy is either in the form of a solute structure or a solvent structure that either will can be maintained. The solid solution is basically crystalline phase uh, that can have the variable composition. So generally the alloys are having two different kind of phases. Uh, firstly the solid either solid solution phase or second phase is a um, compound phase. Compound phase or intermetallic phase it is also called. So we are looking for the solid solution in detail not the compound or intermetallic phase solid solution phase we will see in this chapter so the solid solution is basically crystalline phase that can have the variable composition the composition of alloying element may vary but the structure will be similar to one of the component so the basic difference between the solid solution phase and intermetallic compound phase is in solid solution the composition of alloying element can be varied that means solute and solvent that composition we can vary but the structure will be similar to one of the component that means either it will be similar to that final alloying structure either it will be similar to solute structure or it will be similar to solvent structure but in case of uh, intermetallic compounds it is exactly opposite the composition is fixed in the compounds and the structure is also different from the solute and solvents. So in alloys that solid solution the composition is can be varied and the structure will be similar to the either solute or solvent. So this is uh, definition and basic introduction of solid solutions. It consists of a solution rather than a compound isn't it? this solid solution is a one kind of a solution rather than a compound when the structure when the crystal structure of the solvent remains unchanged 
by addition of the solutes here crystal structure remains unchanged that i have already discussed the examples of this solid solution solid solution is the phase of an alloy we have already seen so uh, after or uh, further some points in this chapter we are going to see uh, are the steels and cast ions so there we will see some solid solution phases such as uh, astenite ferrite and in non ferrous alloys alpha brass such phases we are going to see in the further next chapter so those all phases are the solid solution phases those all are the solid solutions so first example of that solid solid solution is astenite so it is a solid solution of carbon in gamma ion solid solution of carbon in gamma ion that means here carbon is a solute and gamma ion is a solvent so inside gamma ion gamma ion alpha ion are the phases of ion so inside that ion we are added the carbon and we have got the astenite phase so it is a solid solution phase and the crystal lattice structure of that astenite is fcc that is faced face centered cubic so that fcc structure of the astenite we have got and that fcc structure is generally for the gamma ion so here the structure of that solid solution got is exactly same as that of a gamma ion second example ferrite in ferrite ferrite is also solid solution phase uh, in which it is a solid solution of a carbon in alpha ion so alpha ion is also one of the phase of that ion inside that we have added the carbon so that we have finally got a solid solution called as a ferrite because its crystal lattice structure is different its structure is bcc structure that means body cubic sorry body centered cubic structure so that body structure centered cubic structure here it has got from the alpha ion it is also an example of a solid solution thirdly alpha brass so it is a solid solution of a copper and zinc so here copper is having a fcc structure and zinc is having a hcp structure and the combination of that we have got as a solid solution alpha brass so generally the alpha brass is a solid solution it has a structure of a fcc that means that alpha brass has got a structure from the copper because copper has a fcc structure so generally the solvent solution uh, crystal solvent crystal structure has remained same inside the solid solution so these are the examples of a solid solution so there are two types basic types of solid solution firstly substitutional solid solution secondly interstitial solid solution again there are two types of substitutional solid solution first a regular and second as a random regular substitutional solid solution and second is a random substitutional solid solution so we will see these types in detail now first substitutional solid solution substitutional solid solution means the atoms of solute are occupying the sites of solvent element that means in substitutional sol uh, solid solutions substitutional solid solutions the solute atoms are replaced by the solvent atoms so in uh, that center diagram there is one diagram shown in which atoms are shown uh, with the two different colors initially those all atoms are having some kind of structure which is of the solute element sorry solvent element which is a base element that is a solvent element shown here by the green color and inside that if you add the solute element uh and that solute element has got or it is completely replacing the solvent atoms you can observe those green atoms are replaced by the solute element or solute atoms so if this kind of structure has generated that phase we will call as a substitutional solid solution 
substitutional solid solution where name suggest that the solvent metal atoms are replaced by the solute or substituted by the solute element atom so substitutional sol uh, solid solution means the atoms of solute are replaced by sorry uh, atoms of uh, solvent are replaced by the solute atoms substitutional solid solution formation is favored when the atom atomic size of the two metals are nearly equal so whenever atomic size of the solute and solvent in that alloy are similar then this kind of a solid solution phases will be generated substitutional solid solutions so uh, low strength they are having a low strength than the interstitial solid solution second type is interstitial solid solution than that type this kind of a solid solutions are having low strength it is also having a low melting point there are two types of substitutional solid solution first is uh, regular and second is random those are depending on the distribution of a solute in the substitutional solid solution how the solute particles are or solute atoms are distributed inside the uh, solvent depending on these two types are there firstly we will see the regular or sub, uh, it is also called as a ordered substitutional solution in regular substitutional solid solution the substitution of atoms of alloying element is in the definite order as shown in the diagram you can observe there is one row of uh, uh, dark atoms and one row of uh, light uh, lightly shown atoms those represent that one atom is of a uh, solute and one faint atom is of a solvent so those are in the definite order in case of regular substitutional solid solution but in case of random substitutional solid solution the substitution of atom of alloying element is in any random order in the solvent so you can observe in the diagram also the solvent is shown by here the uh, light lightly shown atoms and dark portions is uh, solute atoms and those are present inside the solvent in the random manner so those are called as a random substitutional solid solution so substitutional solid solution uh, in case of a regular substitutional solid solution it requires more energy for the elastic deformation than the disordered substitutional solid solution substitutional solid solution formation is favored by the atomic size of the two metals that are nearly same that we have already seen the examples of that substitutional solid solution is a gold and copper solid solution it shows ordered structure up to 400 degrees celsius and disordered structure at higher temperatures so that gold and copper solid solution can show the two different types of substitutional solid solution that is ordered as well as random so above temperature above 400 degrees celsius it shows the ordered structure and disordered structure sorry at higher temperature it shows disorder structure at lower temperature it shows a order structure uh, next second type of the solid solution is interstitial solid solution in interstitial solid solution the atoms of alloying element occupy the interstitial sites of a solvent as shown in the figure so in that diagram you can observe wherever the interstitial gaps are present in between the solvent atoms there the solute atoms has occupied so the definition of interstitial solid solution in interstitial solid solution the atoms of alloying element occupies the interstitial sites of the solvent so uh, in that diagram you can observe green color are shown by the solvent and the blue color is shown by the solute element atoms so those are occupied between the interstitial gaps 
this type of solid solution formation is favored when the atomic size of alloying element is very uh, very much smaller than the size of solvent so that those solute atoms can occupy the gap between the uh, solvent metallic atoms the solute atom occupies an interstitial position in the crystal lattice the atomic radii of the solute must be smaller than the atomic radii of a solvent atom higher strength than the substitutional solid solution that we have seen previously in also interstitial solid solution how the higher strength than the substitutional solid solutions they are also having the higher melting point in general interstitial solid solution is soft and malleable therefore they can be easily cold rolled and press rolled examples of that interstitial solid solution uh, inside the iron if we are adding the carbon boron oxygen hydrogen nitrogen any of these that can be considered as interstitial solid solution so whatever the examples of solid solution we have seen that is a astenite ferrite and alpha brass from that astenite is the example of interstitial solid solution where the carbon atom size uh, just uh, filled in between the gaps of uh, gamma ion and other these ferrite and alpha brass are the examples of a uh, substitutional solid solution where the atoms have been replaced by the other atoms so these are the two types of uh, solid solution substitutional solid solution and interstitial solid solution generally exam the difference between that substitutional and interstitial solid solution is also asked so in next video we will see the difference between these two solid solutions so thanks for watching